Well, 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 yes, viewers, you are welcome, 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 friends, you are welcome, men and women of God, you are welcome from every corner of this world, you are welcome. For those of you uh, who are go preparing to go to bed, good night. Those of you who are waking up today, your good morning. And those of you who are in the mid places, Middle East, good afternoon. How are you, everybody? I hope all of you are doing well. And uh, we thank God for the new day. I uh, praise God for this opportunity again to share with you on this uh, platform on the global solution for all mankind purposely we are here to bring direction solution and an answer to some of the challenges and questions and frustrations that people go through in life where they are looking for an answer from heaven they are looking for an answer from different corners of the earth from all the four corners of the earth the only solution for our problem is from heaven it's only God who can solve our problem who can give an answer and who can give us a direction for those of us who don't have a direction in life uh, there are so many things which are not okay which are not right but today uh, by the grace of God I believe that uh, God will bless you and God will reach out to the point of your need uh, to be able to give you a direction to solve your case. You will not finish where you are. Just uh, be patient. And uh, the solution, the answer of your question is about to be uh, uh, replied by your maker. So today on this video um, is like a, a lovely warning. Uh, a lovely warning, which is, uh, I, I just want some people to take caution on this video of today. I just want some people, especially our mothers and our sisters, uh, generally women. But as fathers also, you are welcome to hear what uh, this black man has to say. And uh, you can share with your wife. You can teach your people, you can give this information to anyone that is relevant to. I believe it is going to be a blessing uh, to somebody. Even though I wanted to sound it as an alarm, uh, awakening alarm to everybody to hear the sound of my voice this afternoon. Thank you so much. So. I want to share information on a, uh, for those of you who want who who, who are pregnant women, uh, pregnant women outside there, our mothers, our sisters, our wives, eh? those of you who are expectant, those of you who are in hospitals, those of you who are preparing to go and give birth. I want to talk something about the free information uh, three things which are very very important that uh, everybody should take caution on them the number one thing i want to talk about is uh, what i call the bath towel the bath towel when you go to hospital uh, uh, there is a uh, this uh, towel that um, when a woman give birth uh, the nurses they refuse they receive they use uh, that towel to receive your baby from uh, your womanhood um, that towel is very very important that towel is very very important i'm giving out this uh, information out of as a result and as such and experience you know I do a lot of uh, traveling also I do a lot of such 
and I meet a lot of people, a lot of men and women. In my professional, I do a lot of counseling, whereby there is a lot of challenges in marriages, challenges of our children, challenges in different, different areas of life. And it has come to me as a burden to share this information uh, on the public domain so that it can be a blessing to whoever um, can hear it and uh, it can be a blessing to anybody that will take it serious and take heed of it. Um, when you go to hospital, as I say, there is this tower. Those who are going to give birth, when a woman goes to give birth, there is a towel that is being used to go and uh, receive the baby from the womanhood. The moment she deliver, uh, there is a, a, a towel that uh, the doctors or nurses, they use it to receive. Or whoever is involved, receive uh, that towel they receive the baby with when they go to, with, with, the, with the baby to bath or to wash the baby. Uh, that towel, the baby towel, which is a, a receiver towel, is very, very important. Uh, I would advise this, uh, when you go to hospital to give birth, uh, please carry your own towel. Carry your towel and uh, share with the nurse. Uh, tell them, please, uh, when I give birth, receive my baby using this towel. Most of those towel in that hospital, in those hospitals where you guys you are going to deliver, a lot of doctors are corrupt. And uh, I want to bring this information very clear. The world is a very dangerous world today. I speak this as a man of God. I speak this as a man who has a revelation and also experience a lot of problems and challenges in the life of a lot of women who are suffering a lot of men, who are suffering a lot of our sisters, a lot of men, people of God, who are suffering as a result of what I'm talking about. So when you go, make sure you carry your own towel. I tell the nurse, please, uh, uh, when I give birth, eh, receive this, uh, my baby, with this towel. Because uh, some of the doctors and nurses are corrupt. Some of them are Masonic. Some of them are native doctors. Some of them are from a brotherhood, a black brotherhood heart, red black brotherhood uh, uh, society, and uh, different cultism. Don't think that uh, all of the doctors are okay. I want you to know that there are some hospitals which are purposely set apart for that purpose. Hmm? Especially in the places where the hospitals that are maternity, where uh, the maternity hospital, maternity hospitals are mainly a, a hospital that uh, help uh, to bring out a, a child, to receive a child in this world, and also to nurture a child to a certain level uh, in the area of the clinics. You have to be very careful. Uh, there are a lot of people outside there from the dark world that are doing business with the uh, uh, doctors and nurses in those hospitals. When they receive your baby, the baby towel that they receive in is a very, very important the life of that baby. It's very important in the life of that baby. So when... Uh, they, they, you leave that uh, towel in hospital, a lot of doctors, they are selling that towel. They are selling that towel to those men. Some of them, they have a cover, uh, an agreement business deal. They have a business deal whereby they use that towel. Um, uh, they, they, they buy it a lot of money and they go to do the, whatever they do because they can use that towel to arrest the destiny of the child and to begin to control the child. Eh? Some of them, they frustrate their ch that, those children because of the first blood that have been shed on that, uh, on that uh, uh, towel. So uh, they can also frustrate the mother because the blood is mixed there. So if you go to Ostrov, 
you give birth, please tell the nurses to give you that towel so that you can go home with it. Don't leave it in a hospital. I hope I'm, I'm very clear there. Don't leave it in a hospital. And if possible, carry your own towel and don't leave it there. Some people don't take it serious. They don't think uh, uh, there is anything or any problem with it. I'm, I'm just revealing the secret behind and I'm just, just revealing the problem behind. So you need to be very keen. You need to be alert. You need to protect your own babies. You need to protect your own children. You don't have to bring the children in this world to allow them to suffer in the hand of, of the wicked men, wicked people. As a parent, you have responsibility to take care of your child. From the time of conception to the time of delivery to the time growing up, bring her or bring him up, you are responsible to take care. So I'm just giving as a sound alarm to everyone outside there. You need to very, very, very serious look into that issue. Advise your wives, advise your sisters, advise your mothers to look into that issue. It's very, very important. You may think physically nothing that is a problem, but I'm telling you, I'm a spiritual man. I understand. I've been in the ministry around now for a while. I'm not a baby in the kingdom. I'm not a, a, a coming up preacher. No. I'm a minister who has been in the kingdom with a lot of experience now. I travel a lot. I meet a lot of people. I've done a lot of conferences in the world. I meet a lot of different uh, ministers hmm? all over. Different, different challenges in the life of men of God, in the life of people. Born again people are suffering the same problem. Some people say once I'm born again, uh, whatever, uh, cannot say, whatever I don't know will never know me. Ignorance is one of the uh, ways or the, the, the weapon of the enemy. Some people, when you talk to them like this, they you know, say, well, I'm born again. Uh, I don't know that. I, I don't believe in that. You don't believe in that. Don't believe until you become a victim. It's when you believe. Hmm? When you are praying to God, this is how God answers. He uses people to bring information that will help you out. That is how God answers your prayer. You guys, you are waiting for God to intervene. There are some things I will talk about which you need to know. A lot of people mention about God. A lot of, a lot of people talk about how they are worshippers of Jesus, how they know Jesus. And, and honestly, <laughs> even if you ask about the, the salvation they are talking about, what are the basis of salvation, they, do, they cannot even mention one. How can you talk about salvation which you don't understand? So, ignorance has killed a lot of people. That's why we have a lot of our people in captivity. Who are these people that are suffering, if, if not Christ, in the Christian dome? What do you think a lot of people in the church are suffering? What do you think, what makes a lot of people in the church become poor? Or live in a life of poverty? Or live a life of challenges? Do you think it's the will of God for born again people or people of God to live in poverty or to live in failure? You think when you live in failure and struggle, praying every day and seeking God every day, but there is no manifestation of His glory, no manifestation of His power, you think that, that, that is the will of God? <laughs> My friend, so spare your information, your, 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 your knowledge. When you say you know Jesus, what you don't know, somebody say what I don't know, it will never know me. Eh? And uh, it will know what, I do, uh, what doesn't know me, it will not know my children. I pray that it will not visit your children. Yes. But ignorance. Eh? Ignorant is a weapon of the devil. Knowledge is power and knowledge is light. Take this my advice. Watch out about the tower that received a baby in this world for the first time. 
A second, a certain thing, number two, which I want you to be very, very careful, is a placenta. Placenta. Eh? The baby placenta, you know that? The baby placenta is very, very important. Very, very important that I would like everybody to take heed on that. There are many people eh, that cannot say uh, they know how it happened. Eh? to their bath eh? or to their placenta when the time of bath came. Nobody can tell about it. A lot of people don't know about it. This is a very serious matter. Hmm? Because what happened to your placenta actually um, <laughs> will happen to you. What happened to your placenta will happen to you. Hmm? You know, from the spiritual standard point or the standpoint, eh, your placenta eh, is your duplicate. Well, they say life has no duplicate. But I say that if you study very careful, you will find that your, your placenta represents you. Abi? <laughs> it represents you. You will discover that your placenta is a duplicate of who you, who you are. Mm -hmm. And maybe a lot of people don't know what a placenta is. A placenta is uh, something that forms in the womb of a mother or a woman as soon as she gets pregnant or she conceives. Huh? What is the work of a placenta? The work of the placenta is to take uh, food from the mother hmm, to the baby. You hear me? <laughs> and everything that the baby need it will be transferred through that placenta and also all the waste eh? all the waste from the baby hmm? will come up through placenta hmm? my friend <laughs> so you don't have to argue if you don't know what a placenta is that is a the the, the also the all the waste product from the baby are passed out through that placenta hmm? the baby is connected to the mother through uh, a little rope that uh, called the umbilical cord you know umbilical cord hmm? that is the third thing so there is a placenta and there is a an umbilical umbilical cord, hmm? which forms a part of a placenta also. Hmm? So you, the towel that received the baby, then the placenta, then the da rope, eh? the umbilical cord. Don't leave them to hostel. You have to watch out those three things. They are very, very important in the life of any man, any woman on earth. Once a woman gives birth to a baby, the next thing is for the, uh, the placenta to come out. I believe you know that. And those who don't know, you have to know that. Hmm? If the placenta does not come out, there is no rejoicing yet. Hmm? Hmm? At the bath, the umbilical, uh, umbilical cord is cut off into two. It's divided into two, it's cut. Uh, one part remains with the baby, 
uh, while the other part it remains on the with the placenta hmm? the part that is attached to the baby is collapsed uh, very well eh? or else the baby can he bleed to, to death hmm? Hmm? then it later with us and forms the navel the navel that you see it is a, is a result of a formation of uh, the umbilical uh, umbilical cord. Hmm? While the physical placenta is separated from the child, uh, a spiritual spiritually they are never separated because but, but physically is separated. So I want you to note this information. Therefore, anything that is done to the placenta eh, has a far-reaching effect upon the child. This is why it is very, very important to pray, especially if you don't know what happened to your placenta or you as at the time of birth. You have to pray. Get a revelation, get information by the grace of God. I believe God will save you. There are many things that happen against our life and there are many things that you go through in life today because as, as a result of what, what happened to those three things that I'm talking about. Hmm? Do, do you know in the book of uh, Ezekiel, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 16, if you read from verse 1 to verse 6, there is something that the Lord was revealing to Israel. God was speaking to the children of Israel that they were born. Eh? They were born and their umbilical uh, placenta was not properly treated. And because of this, they needed help. They were essentially living in a land of the dead and nobody uh, pitied them. Nobody. You know, when our placenta, umbilical, is not properly taken at, uh, at birth, uh -huh. when, or when we are ourselves are, 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 uh, uh, are, are, are not properly uh, treated at birth very well, we could be walking into the land of the dead, but you don't know. This is why you see as a result of a lot of frustrations. You, you need to understand even, because when I share this information like this, there is a knowledge which is a narrow knowledge. I call it a very narrow mind. Hmm? Those say that once I'm born again, I'm a new creature. Hmm? The old things are passed away. Behold, everything has become new. I, the one teaching here, as you can see, I'm not confused. And the way you hear the sound of my voice, as I talk, you can discern if you, you really hear from the Spirit of God or you are hearing from minded, human mind. I told you on this channel, I will bring information secret information and revelation or to give solution to or direction or an answer to some of the challenges and problems we go through in life based on the word of God and the revelation of the Holy Spirit. This is what exactly I'm doing. Read that scripture you'll see. Who are those people in the land of death who are living in confusion? Who are those people? Sorry, it's very hot here. So when you see me all the time, it's because it's very hot. Hmm? Who are these people? Well, no, I'm just uh, next to the sea here. So the climate is very hot. These are children of Israel. Who are children of Israel? The covenanted children of God. Hmm? 
God had to reveal through the prophetic voice in the book of Ezekiel what was happening at that time in the life of those people was as a result of their amblicot or, or their, 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 their placenta was not properly taken care and as a result is what, what was going on in their life. Hmm? Let, me, let me give you some few things that uh, wicked people can do with the placenta to frustrate your life. Number one, uh, they can use the placenta to draw virtue from your life. They use the placenta to draw virtue from the lives of a lot of people or people. Hmm? When I say virtue means uh, fitness, goodness, uh, power, potency, value, quality, excellence, dignity, ability, capability, competency, and strength. Hmm? These are the things that will be drawn out from a woman or from a man or from someone's life through placenta manipulation. When they manipulate it, these are how they draw the virtue of a man. Hmm? This is a keen to drawing out of the milk and honey of a person's life. A lot of people are suffering as a result of that. Another thing they can use the placenta to do, they manipulate and destroy the destiny of people. Hmm? It can be used to make the life of uh, the owner to become barren or useless. Placenta has been known to be uh, used for money ritual in many places. Huh? They use it for money ritual. Hmm? What do you think they get it? They buy it from hostels. They have a deal with doctors. Huh? Don't leave uh, your placenta in the hospital, the placenta of your child, of your baby. Hmm? Don't leave it in the hostels. They use it to attract customers and pull crowds. You know how these things are happening? Customers are increasing their shops in their business. Eh? Money ritual. Money is entering their pocket in their bank accounts. Hmm? The life of the owner of this uh, placenta is rendered useless. It's something that I need everybody that hear the sound of my voice to check very, very well. It will help you this information. I'm giving it free. You trust doctors. So many of them are wicked. Very wicked. They are businessmen. They use the life of those people that are committed to them to destroy their life and build up their own life. A lot of people have lost their destiny through hostels. A lot of people's lives have been frustrated through hostels. I pray that God will deliver you from such wicked men. God will preserve you and will give you health. If you need a doctor, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, will preserve you by his word. I pray that God will deliver you from such wicked doctors. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my people. This is a very dangerous thing. Hmm? Then there is another thing they can you do with your placenta. They can use it to plant a tree. <laughs> Have you heard that? To plant trees. If a placenta is used to plant trees like cocoa, cocoa, a cola nut, a coconut, or a palm tree, uh, you see, as these trees begin to be fruitful, the life of the owner becomes fruitless. 
There is a place where I went and uh, there is a long problem, 16 years a problem in that home. And then they called me to go and uh, pray for them and solve the case and maybe to help them. While I was uh, ministering that home to do a spiritual uh, search to find out the problem in that home, there was a big tree which was somewhere just there in the middle of the home, uh, standing a big tree. Then I asked about the fig tree, and the Lord revealed to me that this tree is standing on something. I just told him to uproot the tree and destroy the tree. When the tree was uprooted and cast down and removed, the life of that people and the people in the home was transformed into betterness and to the, the, the blessings of God began to come in the home. The problem was the tree. Hmm? You see, when they use a placenta to plant a tree, as the tree begins to make fruits, the life of the owner of the placenta will be rendered fruitless. Getting money, nothing. You have nothing. Nothing. 40 years, 25 years. You don't have a car. You don't have a, a land. You don't have a house. Eh? 35 years, you don't have a car. You don't have a house. You don't have a land. Born again, full of the Holy Ghost. Hmm? 45 years, you don't have a car. You don't have a land. You don't have a house. Hmm? And some of you, you are lucky. You receive an inheritance from your father, from your parents. And whatever you receive, because of the frustration and the useless, rendered that you have been rendered useless, no protection from God. Eh? You misuse what you have received. You, you sell it. Some of the people, uh, there is a, a man who... Uh, who, who, who had almost uh, 16 lands, sold all of them. He doesn't have a house. And the lands were inheritance. He inherited from his pa father. Eh? His papa died and left this land in, in the hand of this man, a young man. And he was alone in the home. He sold everything. And he died without even a house. Hmm? He left his wife without even a plot, a small plot, 30, 100, 50 by 60, nothing like that. Hmm? The man was buried in their home, not in his home, in their home. Hmm? And the man died at the age of almost 60, have nothing. That's not the life that God has ordained for humanity. On earth is a frustration, is a destruction of evil men and evil women outside there. So watch out, my friends. Watch out of this information. Watch out. Hmm? They can use a placenta as an anti and accident charms. You see where those places where there is an accident and the, the driver ran away and they leave the members or his own people uh, in that car. His people, he leave them, he run away. The case mostly is in the area of a placenta. The passengers are left alone. The effect is that such tragedy is transferred to the owner of the placenta. That is what it happens. That's what happens. Then they can also use a placenta as a sacrifice to idols. Once this is done, the owner of the placenta is dedicated to an idol. Hmm? That child is dedicated to an idol. Eh? So that uh, the moment the child now begins to go, will begin to be controlled by that idol. Uh, this is what I call the high level of satanic transaction. It's taking place. A placenta can also be used in, as a medical medication or a herbal remedy. These are things that uh, can be used and a lot of information which are very, very uh, uh, most, most places have been revealed 
Eh? So, when I say watch about your placenta, you are uh, the towel that received the baby and uh, the umbilical cord, I am serious. I know what I'm talking about. I've prayed for people, I've ministered to people who have different challenges and by the grace of God helping these people, I found out that the problem has been caused by this, some of these things I'm revealing to you. That's why I'm sounding an alarm outside there from my brothers and my sisters. You have to watch out those who are going to go to hospital. And there is a video that uh, I talked about protection of the, the, your kids, protection of your children. It's very, very important. Hmm? Don't just say, oh, God will protect it. God will protect it. The caretaker of the child now is in your hand. You are the caretaker. Once the child comes in this life, after God has protected, even the time of a conception, once you conceive, as a mother, you have to be careful how you live. Because now the life of the child is in your hand. Hmm? God may protect, but you also you have your part. Are you listening to me? Yes, you have your part. So be very, very careful. Eh? Be very careful. This is uh, something that uh, uh, you need to check that video. If you didn't look at it, you have to go and watch it. Eh? Yes, we initiate to dedicate our children before God. But before that time comes, hmm? who received your child in the, in the first place in this world? Do you know? Which hand do they receive, uh, used to receive when they receive left or right? At the time of uh, washing the child, make sure that they, they, the first water that drop on the child, wash your child with the, a coconut water. Wash your child, your baby, with the coconut water in your head. Wash the child with the coconut water. Go and look at that uh, video. It will help you. Hmm? Wash the, the child with the coconut water for seven days before you can turn into all other, other things. By the time you take the child to dedication, it's already, you have done your part. So now you allow God to take his position. Are you listening to me? This is about revelation. It's about having information. Information is knowledge. Knowledge is power. And when you have information and you understand that information very well, when you pray to God, he will give you wisdom to know how you'll be able to apply that information in a right way. You do your application in a right manner. Then it will be a blessing in your life and the life of your children. Let's pray for our children. Let's protect our children. Let's look into the life of our children. We should not open door for our children to suffer because of our foolishness. Because of our ignorance. I want to be a good father to my children. I want to be a good father to my children. I want to bring them up in a better way. More than how I was brought up. I don't want them to suffer what I suffer. Pay the price for your children. They represent you. Mm -hmm. Where you have not reached, allow them to reach that level. The office you have never stepped, allow your children to step in that office. Protect them from danger. Pray for them every day. Counsel them. Talk to them. Do whatever you can to help them. And by the power of God and the grace of God will enable you. Okay? So this is all about uh, the, an alarm that I wanted to sound. Uh, there are many hostels now that are doing this business, occultics, and you have to be very careful. You have to watch out, my friends. Hmm? God is committed to protect us, but God is only committed to his commission. He cannot commit himself to what he has not commanded. So, Commit yourself, dedicate yourself to the commit to the commandment of God. When you about yourself to the will of God, and then God will commit Himself, because He is only committed to what He has commanded. 
Whatever he has not ordered, he cannot pay for it. He loves everybody. He would like everybody to make it to heaven. But anyway, millions and millions are on their way to hell. And God cannot stop it. And yet, the death of a sinner makes grieves his heart. You say, oh, if he loves everybody, why is he allowing people to go? It's because he respects your, your, your choice and your decision. He loves you, he respects you, and your decision, he cannot stop it. You have a free will. You have a self-control. Some of you, there are things are happening and you are being deceived with the religious talk. You are being told, oh, God is in control. <laughs> God does not control anything on earth. The world is not controlled by God. You have to have your own control yourself. The Holy Spirit cannot control you. He is not a demon. He cannot surpass the mind of a man and control the man. The Holy Spirit works gently into your will so that your own will will do the will of God freely. That's why he says, I, I stand at the gate, I'm knocking. If anyone hears the sound of my voice and open the door, I'll come in. He cannot break your house. He cannot break and force you. No. He does not control. God leads. God instruct. God direct. God teach. But he cannot control you. That's why he gave you one of the fruit of the spirit, which is called the self-control. Self-control. Just understand the self-control. Do you know what is the meaning? Self-control. Self-control. Don't be deceived. Hey, God is in control. He does not control. When the snake was playing games with Eve, God was there. He didn't control anything. Because he has handed over authority and power on earth to man. He cannot override his word. He respects his word. He has, he, he, God is a king. His word is law. Let us make man in our own image after our own likeness. Let them take dominion over the earth. He didn't say let us. He said let them. Hmm? Excusing himself. He excused himself. He said let them have dominion. Are you listening to me? I hope I'm blessing somebody here. So I'm giving you revelation. Don't be deceived with the talk that oh, God is in control. Oh, don't worry, God is in control. He does not control. You either fight and get position, rise up above and control. Things have been laid under you by the authority in the name of Jesus. You can use the name of Jesus to submit everything under your, 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 your feet. That is what the desire of your God that's the desire. That's why he gives you power. He gives you authority. He allows you to, to access into his princes so that you can be able to tap the ability and the power, dominion, kingship to control, to lead, to subdue, to rule. It is your responsibility. God bless you so much. Watch out. Hostels, watch out. Children, watch out. Those who are going to give birth, friends, you are blessed. Thank you so much for this information. If it is your first time for you to join us, um, my name is uh, Dr. Wilson Tayo. I'm a doctor in divinity. I thank God for this opportunity. I'm a minister of the gospel. I'm not a witch doctor. I'm not a native doctor. I am a minister of the gospel. And I'm not a medical doctor. Even though I may give you an advice in the area of health, the benefit of health and what you can do to gain health is because of the word of God. From the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was God. 
when you have the word of God, the word of God is a solution to everything. So I may not be a medical doctor, but what if I give you the word of God, it will save your life. It will save your children. L watch out. And if you have joined us for the first time, this is a global solution for all mankind. We are here to give a direction, to give an answer and a solution by the mind of God. I want you to subscribe. Just uh, help me as I bring up this information freely. And I give you the inf this information uh, to help you and to help your beloved one. I would like you also as a request, kindly, I ask you to subscribe. It is a blessing to me. Also, that's what you can do to me. It's free to subscribe. No anything you have to give. Just subscribe and you can like our, our video. And you can share with your neighbors. Share with your friend. Share this video, this information to somebody else. My joy is to save life. My joy is to secure life from the hand of the wickedness. Hmm? Please do that and it shall be a blessing to me and also a, a, a glory to who go back to God. Thank you so much. Till the next video, may the Lord bless you. He said, bye-bye.